okay guys i like you coming back to another video please look at what you have for now we are having a grade 11 grade 11 uh, assembled drawing mechanical assembled drawing so this is the question so they are sent given the exploded isometric drawing of the parts of the uh, sketchboard uh, wheel assemble showing the the position of the each part relative to all the others point two photographic views of each of the parts of this uh, sketchboard will assemble instruction answer this question on the next page which is page nine this is page eight isn't it so page nine that's where you're supposed to answer this so draw to scale one is to one in third angle orthographic in a not in third angle orthographic projection of the following views of the assembled parts of this skateboard wheel assemble a sectional front view on the cutting plane a a s scene from the direction of the arrow shown on the exploded isometric drawing the cutting plane which it passes through the vertical center line of the assemble is shown on the right wheel of uh, of wheel which is part number four all the time uh, drawings must comply with the guide okay that is it so what is very much important the scale one is to one and the the question a sectional front view they even a uh, highlighted bold so we are we are we are drawing a sectional front view on the cutting pen a a so a full sectional front view on the cutting pen a the AA which is situated in your part four our together. So I normally used to say in assembled drawing, <coughs> mechanical assembled drawing, we cannot uh, do anything without the part list. Our together, we are even part part one up to part six. So these are the items, yeah, items, your yeah, the name of that particular item. Yeah, the quantity how many times are you supposed to draw that particular item materials the type of the steel which that particular item is made up of yet yeah. but this one is not that much important what is very much important is quantity how many times are you supposed to draw that particular item for instance but <coughs> but item one you have to draw it twice item two you have to draw it twice item three you have to draw it four times item four you have to draw it twice six five you have to draw it once so very much important so however we are given the exploded view which makes our work simple both we'll be drawing what is we also correspond with the exploded isonometry to say okay uh, after this one i have to put this after this one i have to put this after this one i have to put this so it's it's going to make our work simple and faster you understand okay so using a scale one to one and tracing the cutting plane <laughs> tracing the cutting plane what i normally used to say is that two or more things they must agree with you to say indeed this part is going to fit there so you you correspond to the dimension of that particular item as well as its shape the dimension as well as its shape all together so item one item one is what item one is a uh, m20 nut item one which is m29 is this one so it's the smallest so in most of the time you have to start to draw the what you have to start to draw the bigger item for instance this one item number five <laughs> item number five which is the shaft in the set you have to draw it twice i mean once so let's start with it <coughs> so this is the page nine which they spoke about this is the page nine i'm actually picking this one from the workbook uh, from the workbook jp engineering graphics and design grade 11 workbook page number eight and nine so i'm going to start to draw item five the way as it is so that the rest of the other items they will be assembled right there in item five so so the question is that a full sectional front, a full sectional front, isn't it? Uh, did they spoke about the what you call right view? No, they didn't spoke about the right view. So we will be drawing the front just the way as it is. So I will start 
with a vertical center just a vertical center line that's going to be like this this is it then from there just in the center in the center i can have another horizontal center okay okay that's same using scale one to one right so we have to draw let's first draw the outer skeleton of this one the outer skeleton of this one and this one it's the shaft it's the shaft you do not shape such the shaft whether uh, 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 actually not whether when it's cut it along its length should it be cut it across its length that's when you're going to sushi if you can uh, the front view the set is is positioned today in your exploit so the there is your what is your front view so if they said a full sectional front so it's good as if they would be cutting it like this it's good as if they'll be cutting it like this all these items being cut it like this see the way i'm 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 putting this uh, a ruler just a big hack so blade cutting it like this and so you can actually see item five is being cut it along its length from here till here it's its length which is this one from here till here so should it be cut it across its length across its length across its length which means cut it like this that's when we have section it are we together so where these two centers are perpendicular to each other this one i'll i'll be like it's good as if it's this point it's good as if it's that point so so it's what is 14 which means i can say 20 20. do it 2020 so i mark it 40 and mark it zero then from there i can then just have a constructional line faint that goes another one that goes okay the same then now remember that this is the front view of item five this is the right view of item five remember all these are given according to third angle orthographic projection this is the third angle orthographic projection so this is the front view of item five this is the right view of item five this is the front view of item six this is the right this is the front view of item four this is the right this is the front view of item three this is the right this is the front this is the right this is the front this is the right so the question say a sectional front so which means we'll be taking the fronts in most out together okay okay they say and then from there from here till there is so much from here till there is diameter 30 so which means i can say 15 this side and 15 this side do it there is the 15 So I can just mark it zero and mark it 13 all together. So I can just have horizontal construction line, another construction line this side. And I think I've missed it today. You have to be careful. Not a line next to it. It's supposed to be exactly the problem I'm drawing during the night so the shade sometimes is giving me a problem mm -hmm. so there it is okay <coughs> then after that i record 30 30. set this side to this other side then again you can just have construction line faint construction line faint so this one 
I can draw it solid. Draw it solid. I want. Then after that, you can then come and have this sort of dark as well. This one solid. This one solid. Okay, that's say which one is this, my brother? It's actually this one. It's actually from here to right there to right there. Okay, from there where your 30 ends begin 35 and 35. There's my 35 ending here and 35 ending here. There I can also have a, a vertical construction line and another vertical construction line. Okay, the say from there I can have 22, 22. So you deal with them one by one like this. You don't add them and be like 40 plus 30 plus 35. You understand? Because these points where this 40 is ending, you need it. Where this 30 is ending, where you need it. Where this 35 is ending, you need it. You understand? So you do, we deal with them one by one just like this. So you can actually see... <coughs> How necessary it is for you to start at the center of your drawing sheet. Are we together? Okay, okay, the same. Then from here till there, that's the 35 as you need. So, the 35, it has got its own, what you call, diameter, which is M20. So, the M20 is that one. So, M20 is good as if it's diameter 20. So I'm going to say 20 divided by 2, which is 10. Come and mark it 20 this side. And mark it 0 this side. Okay, that's say Then from there, I can then have horizontal construction line. Another horizontal construction line. Okay, okay, that's say Then from there... Uh, this is what this is the 35 isn't it? so the 35 i can just have it solid from here to right there 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 <coughs> okay after that this one solid then after that, what is going to happen now? So this one, I want to draw it dark yet because there, is, there will be item one that has to be fitted in. Item one, which they said two. Two of item one, which is this one and that one. That is why I've got one here and one there. Because they set two of them. <coughs> okay, so this is M20. Which means in the other views, I must be having M20 again. I must having M20 or diameter 20 all together. Okay, however, the exploded view is telling you everything that you have to do. It's telling you, well, after I've drew this one, what's going to follow? To, this is item uh, 5, isn't it? I've drew item 5. What's going to be fitted here is item 3, which is... Uh, the ball bearing and remember we are taking the front because the question said a uh, front a sectional what front if they say sectional left would have took the left sectional right would have took the right sectional top would have took the top you understand so in this case they said a sectional front we are concentrating on the what on the on the front so what is going to be followed today is what is is a uh, item three which is uh, i'm gonna draw it here it's of a thickness of 10 millimeter 10 millimeter and the internal diameter very much important is what is 20. so what i can do now i can simply 
record the 10 millimeter exactly where this corner of this one ending i can then go this direction with what which is the thickness of item three item three which is the ball bearing which is item i mean which is a uh, thickness 10 millimeter so it's the 10 this one from here since it's supposed to be fitted even on the other side i can do them simultaneously then this side and then this side and after that just a vertical construction line vertical construction line so what is the outside diameter of it the outside diameter of it the set is how much is 34 so 34 divided by 2, come and say 34 divided by 2, 17. Uh -uh. 34 divided by 2, 17, isn't it? So 17 this side, 17 this other side. So that's the outside diameter of it. So, where's my ruler? I just put it at 17. This is 15, 16, 17. So the 34 is right here, my brother. This is 34 and this is what this is zero all together so i can just have a horizontal construction line but from here till here solid and from here till right here solid so even down here horizontal construction line but from here till here solid till here solid then i can come and close it here close it there yeah just a little bit just a little bit i'll come in and take a closer look on what is happening then close it here close it here this one this one okay so if this bearing of ours okay this is the outer skeleton of it so remember there, there will be something that will be running here there will be still this shaft, shaft that will be running here so this one is going to change to be solid change to be solid from here till here it will disappear from here till here it will disappear all together this one change this one change remember we are if this aa cuts here because if we can trace the same aa in our item three it will be still here it will be still here so from here till here it will cut from here till here is the hole whereby it will, will be fitted this part of it all together so so which means in the drawing i can just go down up to the shaft up to the shaft but remember here yeah, why it seems to be solid because it's the end of the shaft is that is actually the shaft itself from here till here you understand so even this other side do the same thing simple straightforward my brother that goes okay okay let's say we fitted item three the expanded view is always there by yourself so after item three there will be item four this item four double check it you can actually see it has got a, a an inner hole and come and check that inner hole inner hole so from here till here is what uh, the outer diameter okay 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 double check the outer diameter is 40 not 30 not the 34 the outer diameter is 40 and this 40 correspond with that that is why Posa, i was now surprised Uti. how is it happening so the inner diameter is 40. 